Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4, Module 4, Lesson 14 homework. So let's get started. Number 1, draw triangles that fit the following classifications. Use a ruler and protractor, label the side lengths and angles. Alright, so I have this cute little pink ruler. So let's see. A, right and isosceles. So an isosceles triangle is a triangle, remember, that has um, two sides that are equal in length. So right, let's see, we can do three centimeters or four. And here, we have to make it equal to that line for the triangle to be isosceles. So. Four centimeters. And now here we can draw a line that goes down to connect it. So yeah. So this should be equal, so we can put little tick marks and draw a box to show that it's a right angle. Alright, and it says label the side lengths and angles. Well this we drew four centimeters. Is also four centimeters, so they're equal. And our angle, the right angle, is 90 degrees. <clears throat> All right, for B, right a right and scaling. Scaling means the all sides are different side lengths. So make sure it's different side lengths. We can start off with one super long, and our base can be like super short. R. Here, this. Right in nine degrees, right angle. <coughs> so this is three centimeters, and here it would be. Let's see. What does that say? around six, or we can put 5.5 centimeters here. And we just say around six centimeters. All right, C, obtuse and isosceles. Isosceles means that um, their two sides are equal. So since it's obtuse, we can make one line here that is Five centimeters. Yes, five. And then right here, you can make this one also five centimeters. We can make it extra wide. So then when we have our triangle, look at that, it's obtuse. So here we have our obtuse. And over here, what we need to do is draw our base. <clears throat> so, these two side lengths would be the same. We know that's five centimeters. Yeah. Five centimeters. And here, we want to try and use our protractor. Oh, how do I do this? Okay. I kind of like to have my base, like, flat. So, I'm going to kind of just, like, turn this. Really small. I'm just gonna turn it to measure. Let's see, this would be about. All right, let's see. This will continue on, say, about 108 degrees. All right, let's write 108 degrees. And D, acute and scaling. <clears throat> so it has to be acute and different silence. All right, let's start. We can do three centimeters here. And um, let's see. I mean, don't make it right, actually. So let's do it like that kind of. Three centimeters here. 
Let's kind of make it up two centimeters here. And it looks like three, but technically it's a little bit more than three. Or can we make this part a little more? Four centimeters here. And then here would be around five centimeters. So it's scaling. We have our angles. Alright, so what was this? Four centimeters. Three centimeters. And making this five centimeters. And our angle measurements. Alright. Let's start with this one. This one. Let's do it. 80. Let's we'll say it's around 80 degrees. Right, this one's 80 degrees. And this angle is acute. So this one is about, I say about 40, 42, 42 degrees. And our last one, okay, I'm going to tilt the book a bit. That was our ruler. Let's see. Wait, which angle am I measuring? This angle. Alright. This angle is, let's say, 60 degrees. Put that 60 degrees. Wait, yeah. <coughs> so, yeah. Alright, and number two says draw all possible lines of symmetry. And the triangles above. Explain why some of the triangles do not have lines of symmetry. Alright, so <coughs> our first triangle we can go across. So this is our line of symmetry. Can we get dotted? This one right and scaling. Well, since it's scaling, you can't really do anything to make it symmetry. This one, isosceles, you can make it and half and scaling we can't do anything because they're different so why do some triangles not have lines of symmetry well lines of symmetry means that it's the same on both sides but scaling none of the none of the lines are even the same length at all then how could they be the same on both sides if they're split into two or more so scaling triangles don't have equal <clears throat> side lengths, so they <coughs> are not symmetrical. All right, next page. Are the following statements true or false? Explain. Three, triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. AB must be two centimeters. True or false? So remember isosceles triangle, they have two sides that are equal in length. So we have one centimeter here and two centimeter here. Then this um last side this last side should be equal to either the one centimeter or or the two centimeter. And since it's obviously not equal to one centimeter, then it must be equal to the two centimeters. So this would be true <coughs> because AB must be equal to one of the sides. And it's not one centimeter because it's really, because they're both like on top. Like you can tell it's just not one centimeter. <coughs> so it must be two. <coughs> Alright, number four. The triangle cannot have both an acute angle and a right angle, true or false? Okay, this would be false. Because 
a triangle if it has a right tri if it has a right angle it needs an acute angle to close it up because it cannot have another there cannot be two right angles so no a triangle mm. really a triangle you can also draw it out if we have a right angle we can't have another right angle so we need to have an acute so a triangle needs to have an acute angle well, to be a triangle because that's just the way it is because triangle their degrees need to add up to 180 a right angle is already 90 degrees so if we even have another right angle that would already be 180 there, so there's no room for the last side so there needs to be an acute angle and number five, triangle X, Y, Z can be described as both equilateral and acute. True or false? True because all angles are acute and they're all equal. So true because all angles are acute and the sides are equal. <coughs> now number six says a right triangle is always scaling. True or false? Um, scaling means that the lengths no sides are the same. Well, that's false. It's not always scaling because we drew on the first page that is a right angle and that has a right angle and it's an isosceles triangle. So false a right triangle can be scaling but also isosceles so that was false now here extension in ABC x equals y true or false so this is an isosceles triangle then the angles here and here must be equal since these two sides are equal so x cannot be equal to y x would be a equal to this angle right here angle bca so false because since this triangle is isosceles x needs to be equal to angle bca so it's not equal to y all right thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video helps and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps out my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!